my name's Ian Clinton and welcome to this final part of the summer training series Gundog Training in association with Shooting Times and with Skinners. In today's film we're going to be looking back and linking together all of the previous lessons that we've gone through so we'll be doing that one by one. So we first looked at applying the slip lead correctly and how to turn the slip lead into a halter and the reason why we do this is that when we're out in the shooting field if we're carrying game birds or actually carrying our gun it's going to be awkward to actually have a dog that's pulling around and pulling on the lead so it's really nice to have a dog that's controlled and by your side without foul. Next we just looked at some exercises that would just start to improve the dog's fitness. That's going to be really key for the start of the season. If they've had a long layoff, we want our dogs to be fit, not only to work, but also for us to be able to revisit their training. We then looked at giving nice, clear handling signals. No confusion for the dog, nice and simple, nice and basic, but good, clear, visual instruction for the dog to be able to follow and go exactly where we actually want it to go to. We then went to a water source and, and water if that's on your chute and you need to be able to work your dog it's very very key and important that not only will it swim but it will swim across a water source hunt the far side of a bank so we demonstrated how to do that be able to bring the dog back through the water and deliver nicely to hand. Next time we looked at working multiple dogs and when you have a team of multiple dogs out, whether it's two or three or even more, those dogs need to learn to be able to be steady. So we actually worked on some steadiness exercises and then what we then did, we sent one dog for a retrieve while the other stayed nice and steady and I teach my dogs personally to retrieve by name. So I hope that you found this summer training series useful in association obviously with shooting times and, and skinners. Hope you found them of benefit. Just remember to make haste slowly. Make sure that your dog learns piece by piece, taking it nice and slow so that they're really reinforced well and that you have an enjoyable season when you take your dog out into the shooting field. <laughs>